you would take your egg. Um, one of the little tricks that uh, we have is to give it an egg bath first. So this is something that we do. We mix a bit of vinegar with water and we put the egg in it. It's just to remove any grease or any fingerprints that might be on it because you want to make sure that the egg is receptive uh, to the color that we're going to be putting it into. So this egg, for example, I just have a couple of um, uh, sketches that I did with, um, with a pencil just to be able to get uh, the general um, the general pattern that I want to be working on so the whole idea with the eggs is to start with the lightest color and to go to the darkest color and uh, the stylus tool that we're using which is called the kistka uh, we use it uh, to put the wax on the areas of the egg that we want to protect so if we're starting with a white egg the first drawings that we're going to make on the egg is everything that we want to have white in our final product so everything on this egg that is appearing dark now because the beeswax that we use is dark uh, everything that is outlined with the wax right now at the end it's going to be in white so this egg is ready to be put into the first color so the next lightest color would be yellow so I'll be putting the egg into yellow and then I'll continue working on it with the wax where I'll be putting wax on everything that I want to have yellow in the final product uh, to get blues they actually had red cabbage that they would be using oh. and it would give a little bit of the blue tints uh, for the green it would be the spinach and all of the uh, the, the the green uh, dark green leaf well, for us remember? we just buy the packet so you buy in specialized stores Ukrainian stores you can buy the packet it has the powder in it you boil water you mix it with vinegar and you and okay. you that this is how we make the dye so you can see it's already the eggs already taking on the color, the yellow color mm -hmm. already. I'm just gonna pat it. But you can see already where was black. You can see it's almost like, you can see the white a little bit that it's been protecting. And you'll notice that as it goes into darker colors. And the reason I, I, I made this egg this year is uh, there has been, uh, there, there were several memes in social media where after all the bombardment near uh, Kiyu, uh, they showed uh, a home where there was uh, part of the kitchen that remained intact after the bombing and they had a ceramic um, rooster, rooster <laughs> on one of the, uh, oh, and the, the, the rooster yeah. has been uh, become a, a symbol for strength and uh, resistance resilience so uh, it was something that I wanted to do with uh, the eggs this year where I wanted to have the the rooster as a symbol so now I'm going to be covering uh, with wax what I want to keep in yellow for example there's the beak that I want to have in yellow and the other thing I wanted to keep in yellow was this little teardrop here I'm putting it into pumpkin orange now you could do it all year round. Uh, I know last year because of COVID, I was using it as a mm. little escape. The sequence of, of colors were all protected by wax every time we went through a different color. So now we're at, uh, we're at, we're at the, the final stage. Now we're just going to uh, dab the excess brown color off and then we'll be ready to melt the wax off of it. So this is always is the exciting wax? part. So what you do is you just hold it near the flame and then the wax is yeah. melting. So I broke an egg once. I got a little bit too close and I burnt my finger with a flame and I dropped it. Oh no, and it broke <laughs> all over the table. Oh, yeah, I think we all have our, our Pisanka accident stories. Oh, now it's starting to show. Yeah. 